So Anthony Rendon said the biggest issue with baseball is that there's too many games. He wants to shorten the season and this got a lot of baseball fans really upset. Now Rendon averaged around 50 games played per season the last three years and he's getting paid around $35 million a year. So you can see why people would be upset when someone making $35 million a year playing a game for a living says, I don't want to go to work this much. So let's talk about, is the season too long? I want your opinion in the comment section below. I'm going to give you my perspective because I played eight professional seasons. And so uh, I was going to say I'm used to playing a lot of games, but I also was injured an awful lot during my career. But let's discuss it. The first thing I'll start off with this. If you're Anthony Rendon, you can't say this. People already think you're one of the most overpaid players in the league. You're always hurt. You get paid a shit ton of money. So you just can't say it. You got to have some feel. Baseball is a business. And one of the reasons why there's a lot of games is because they can make a lot of money. They can make more revenue with more games. Now, if you're a player and you're going to say, I don't want to play in these amount of games, well then you are going to have to give away some of that revenue. So if you're okay with your salary getting cut, then fine, you can say it. And maybe he'd be happy making 25 million and not playing in as many games, and that's fine. But just know that if we shorten the season, then your salary is going to take a hit. But here's the thing, I actually do agree with his thought that the baseball season is too long. Let me give you my reasons why. First, with spring training and playoffs, you're looking at a nine month season. As a player, I would get the spring training at the very beginning of February. Now, I never made the playoffs. We were in last place when I was with the Padres. But if I had made the playoffs, you're looking again at nine straight months of baseball every single day. And I know a lot of people say it's a game, which it definitely is, but there's a lot of work that goes into games, especially behind the scenes that most people don't realize. There's a lot of travel. Again, I'm not complaining for the players they are getting paid. Most of them are getting paid millions of dollars to do so, but it is a very, very long season and it takes a huge toll on your body. Most players are playing through some type of ailment. The only day your body truly feels 100% is the first day of spring training. And then after that, it feels like crap, at least mine did for a majority of the year. Now, another reason why I think it could be cut shorter is because that first month of the season and the last month of the season, if you make the playoffs, if you're in a more Northern climate, so you're one of those Northern states, it's freezing outside. And the worst part about the year is when you go from nice sunny Florida or Arizona in spring training and then you go to your home park in Boston or New York or any of the northern states and you go from 85 degrees and sunny to 30 degrees and snowing, it stinks. No one likes playing baseball. At least I haven't met people that like playing baseball in the freezing cold. And so I think you could just push the season back a month, get rid of some of those freezing games. And I would say most fans don't enjoy bundling up and going to a 30 degree game, sometimes even colder. And so we could probably shorten it up and just get rid of that first month or so of freezing cold weather because up here, I'm in Massachusetts. Once we get to May, you could still have some really cold days, but they're much less frequent and the weather is starting to get a little bit more tolerable. I also think during the baseball season, especially like in the middle of the season, there's so many times where I'm like, well, it's just one game. There's 162 of them, right? The games don't feel like they matter that much. Sometimes it's like a week goes by and you're like, well, it's just one bad week. So having less games would technically make each game a little bit more important. And I understand hockey, there's 82, basketball, there's 82, same thing. They're going to sit some starters and not every game is super important like it is in the NFL season. And no sport's going to be like the NFL where there's only 17 games. But I do think there's a lot of baseball that sometimes feels like, well, this game really doesn't matter that much anyway. And I know when the football season ends, I'm always like, wow, that went by like really quickly. Where did those 17 weeks go? When the baseball season ends every single year, and again, it's probably because I played I always say to my wife, I'm like, that felt like the longest season of all time. How did they just go from February until now playing baseball every single day? So it was always a grind to get through the year as a player, but it feels like a grind to get through the year as a fan. It just feels like such a long 
season. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Again, I'm not saying they have to cut the season down. I don't play anymore. So, I mean, I really don't care. I enjoy watching baseball. So if you're going to give me baseball for nine months, I'll watch it. But I can see from a player's perspective how the season can feel really long because it is really, really long. Again, you just can't complain about it because you're getting paid millions of dollars to do so. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. Antonelli Baseball now offers three of the top online hitting and fielding courses in the world. Building the Elite Swing has helped over 2,000 players, parents, and coaches improve their bat speed, bat path, and bat quickness by teaching them the four core principles of the swing. It provides over 50 drills to help develop these principles so they become second nature. Building the Elite Hitter teaches how to read, recognize, and react to pitches faster than ever before using the most advanced techniques. Hitters learn how to improve their timing and adjustability so they are consistently ready for whatever pitch they see and can make the subtle adjustments needed to hit the ball hard. You also receive our 15-step routine that begins before you ever walk to the plate. This routine covers visualization strategies, an on-deck routine, breathing techniques, self-talk, pre- and post-game adjustments, and so much more. You also receive over 50 drills to improve your pitch recognition and swing decision skills, as well as your timing and adjustability. Elite infield play will make you a complete infielder using our advanced fielding system in over 50 of our best infield drills. Learn how to improve your fielding and throwing actions and techniques, pre-pitch movements, the mental game, reaction and quickness exercises, and much more. You will be taught the four core principles of infield play, how they work, and how to develop each of them, as well as how to quickly identify, diagnose, and fix your fielding flaws. You will also be given the exact routine that we use with our infielders to ingrain these proper fielding mechanics. Once you purchase a course, you have lifetime access. All three of our courses are updated monthly, so you will receive all updates completely free. To view our courses, click the link in the description box below or visit our website, www.antonellibaseball.com.